Hello, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. And today we're here to talk about HP ProLiant DL380 Gen 5 server memory upgrades and how to properly configure the system. For starters, the DL380 G5 uses one type of memory, fully buffered, also known as FB DIMMs. There are eight DIMM slots and maxes out for a total of 64 gigabytes using 8x8 gig at 667 megahertz. There are no 16 gigs in case you were uh, looking at this video to find out if uh, you could put 16 gigs inside. 16 gig DDR2 was never invented, so the most you can put in is a total of 64 gigabytes, 8 by 8 gig. So let's go ahead and uh, bust it open and show you how to properly load the system. But before we do, let's get our ESD gear on and make sure we're safe and protect the machine. I'll be right back. All right, my IT ninjas, now that we have our ESD gear on, we're safe to open the machine. So first things first, make sure the latch is set to unlock. Simply pop it up and lift the top off, very simple. You will note that there are eight DIMM slots and there are two CPUs. If you wanted to access the CPUs, you would simply pop this up and lift this up, very simple, and you'd actually have access to it. I'm not gonna go into those, because this is a memory video, but I just wanted to show you in case you're here for that. Uh, the proper way to configure this, well, let's be honest, is to max it out. That's what we're here to do today. This machine is older. Uh, you definitely want to have 64 gigabytes in it, um, and you definitely uh, can get that for under 100 bucks. So uh, it's so cheap nowadays. Um, there's no sense in running really anything outside of 8 8 gigs, in my opinion. Uh, but I do want to note when you are um, when you're doing this, you are going to have some cables in the way. Um, personally, I just kind of move them to the side and load it because I don't want to you know disassemble everything. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. Uh, for me, I'm, I feel comfortable enough that I can kind of work around it. Uh, one other thing I'd like to note when you're doing this, I like to pop all the tabs open first so that when I'm working with them, I'm not fumbling around with memory in my hands trying to mess with the tabs. Uh, just little things that'll make your life a little bit easier. So uh, one other thing I would like to note before we max this out, you will notice on the DIMM itself, there is a notch here in the middle, also known as a key. This notch is important because it prevents users from making errors. You cannot take a DDR3 module and put it in here. It physically would not fit. You cannot take a DDR4 module and put it in here. It physically would not fit. If you accidentally grabbed a desktop module and you try to put it in here, again, it would not fit. It's there to prevent users from making errors. Uh, on the flip side, it's also important because the, the key is not in the middle. So you have to make sure you line the module up properly or you could potentially damage the leads on the module or you could damage the socket itself, which would basically force you to have to uh, replace the whole motherboard which nobody wants to do so uh, little simple things just to make sure uh, that everything is done right so I have it lined up I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and show you how easy it is to do one thing I also like to note um, when you when you put the uh, the module in you'll hear a click and that's how you know it's fully seated we hear quite often people uh, who feel like the um, the module has an error uh, and it's it's just simply not seated properly so little things to uh, to check just to make sure uh, that you're doing everything properly and voila just like that it was that simple one thing I also like to do is just make sure all the tabs are fully pushed in so you know everything's seated again thanks again for stopping by uh, if you guys need any upgrades yourself or you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and please uh, do us a favor and click the subscribe button down below. Have a great day.